So let's start off by creating our Unity project. I'm currently on this editor version and I'm going to select the 3D built-in core template. Give your Unity project a name and then click on create project. While our project is loading, let's go ahead and download the Pico Unity integration SDK. Go to the Pico developer resources link found in the description below and scroll down to download the Pico Unity integration SDK. Once the download is finished, try to click on the Pico integration SDK and extract the files. Now let's go into Unity, click on Window and then Package Manager. Press on the plus icon and add package from disk. Go to the location where you extracted your Pico Unity integration SDK and then import the package.json file. During the installation process, Unity might restart several times. Once that's done, make sure you apply the PXR SDK settings. Next, we need to install the XR plugin management. Click on Edit and then Project Settings. On the bottom of the window, you will see the XR plugin management. Click on Install. Installing the XR plugin management will enable the connection between Unity and Pico, allowing Unity to recognize the headset. And for that, we will enable Pico as the plugin provider. To run the app on your Pico headset, we need to link it to an app ID. Go to the Pico developer link found in the description below and go to the developer console. After creating an organization, you can now create your app. Give your app a name and choose the platform and press on create. Next, go to the API test section and copy your app ID. While I'm sharing mine for the purpose of this tutorial, it's important to keep yours private. Next, we need to paste our app ID in two sections. Click on PXR SDK and the PS Debug settings. Change the regions to other if you're not located in China. And then, go ahead and paste the app ID in the Access Token section. Next, again, click on the PXR SDK and the Platform Settings. Make sure to paste your app ID there as well. If you look into the recommended settings for the Pico platform, you can see that the Android minimum API level should be greater than 29. For that, let's change the build settings. Go to File and then Build Settings. Make sure to select the Android platform as Pico has sets run on an Android-based OS. Then click on Player Settings and scroll down until you find the minimum API level. Make sure then you select the Android 10 API level 29. Now before building our project, let's add a simple cube to the scene. In the hierarchy panel, right click and scroll down to the XR and add the XR origin. The XR origin comes up with the camera offset that includes the main camera and the left and the right controller. Because it comes up with the main camera, we do not need the other camera, so let's delete it. Our main camera is our view in the VR world. By adjusting the camera position, you'll be adjusting what you see on your headset. Now let's add a cube to the scene, right click in the hierarchy panel and select cube from the 3D object section. Adjust the cube's position accordingly so it is rendered in the camera's view. Go to your Pico's account settings and scroll down to find the About section. In the About section, look for the software version and click on it 7 times to activate the developer mode. You will see now that there's a developer section that shows up. Click on it and make sure you enable the USB debugging. Connect your headset to the PC using a Type-C USB cable. 
Go to your terminal and type in ATB devices. It should retrieve the list of attached devices including the Pico headset. Now to run our app on Pico, just go to File and click on Build and Run Project. This is the process of creating an APK that will be deployed on our Pico headset and give the APK a name and then click on save. Once the build is finished, you're going to see that our Unity project is finally deployed on our headset. And that's it! We successfully managed to run our simple scene on Pico.